Hello everyone, I'm Luke Flywalker and welcome to issue 19 of SL Aviation Magazine. I'm on the deck of the USS Reprisal located on the continent of Georgia. Carrier is part of Linden Labs Department of Public Works project. This is one of the landing points on today's grid flight. We'll take a look at some scenes from that flight as well as going over some grid flight helpful hints. Then we'll take a look at a screen test from SL Aviation Network's newest project, the War in Vietnam Part 3, the Air War. Okay, the CAT officer has given us the all clear. Let's prepare for takeoff. When going on a grid flight, take some time to prepare beforehand. Deidre provides so much useful information, it makes this job a lot easier. Study the map and get a picture of the route in your mind. Read the note card with a leg-by-leg -leg breakdown of the flight plan. If you want to participate in the challenge, decide beforehand which aircraft you're going to fly. Open up the landmarks for each leg and minimize them and place them on the side of your screen. That way you can call them up for quick reference and mark the next destination on the map. If you have time, you might want to visit a few of the airports you'll be flying to, especially if you have never been there before. Many SL airports have unique features that make landing approaches interesting. For example, on this flight, Geogiot Airport is located 300 meters and the runway is between two rock walls. It's a nice long runway and not really difficult to hit, but it is different than landing on an open strip on the ground. Another thing that you should do if you have not done this before is read the grid flight etiquette note card that is included with the flight plans. This provides helpful hints to make your flight, as well as the other pilot's flight, more enjoyable. If you follow these simple common sense guidelines, it will speed up the flight for everyone and make the flight marshal's job a whole lot easier. Okay, it's time to head to Red Ribbons Airport for the start of this week's grid flight. This week's flight is the Geogiot Challenge. Leg 1 starts at Red Ribbons Airfield. The Challenge aircraft is any type of airship like a hot air balloon or blimp. Leg 1 ends at Subuk Airstrip. This flight is across land and has the challenge of skyboxes and a security orb or two. Leg 2 from Subak to Geogiot Airport is a short hop over water. Challenge aircraft is amphibious type. No real problems foreseen on this. The only thing pilots need to do is remember to climb above 300 meters to make the landing. Leg 3 is from Geogiot to Zilted Airstrip with a touch and go on the USS Reprisal. Challenge aircraft is any military type. Leg 4 is from Zilted to Auville Heights. A short hop but lots of lag and full sims to contend with. We're done with the pre-flight so let's sit back and enjoy highlights of the Geogiot Challenge.
I started working on this project, I didn't know the proper pronunciation for GeoGeot. I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I googled GeoGeot and up popped this link to an amazing book by Dahlia Jayaram. I recommend that you all read this book. It's very creative and funny. Dahlia faced the same dilemma that I did, how to pronounce GeoGeot. She offers three possibilities, GeoGeo, GeoGeot, and GeoGeot. I picked GeoGeot, being a native-born Hoosier, this pronunciation fit my redneck linguistic skills very nicely. Please take the time to read Dahlia's book. After trying to conquer the skies of GeoGeot, I think you will be able to relate to her adventures. Oh, and by the way, she has three other books about her balloon flying adventures on the other continents and also a book on a sailing adventure. I'm going to read those just as soon as I get done working on this video. thanks to Deidre Fault and the SL Grid Flight Group for another excellent grid flight event. Linden Labs and the SL Aviation Community owe Deidre a huge debt for what she's done for Second Life and for the aviation community. 
Keep up the good work, Deidre. We need you. I would also like to thank the SL Coast Guard for their continued support of the weekly grid flight stations, providing assistance to downed pilots and serving as a guide as we traverse the grid. I want to personally thank Mobius Infinity and Akiki Perkins for allowing me to hop a ride with them on the last leg of tonight's flight. They are excellent pilots. Now on to the Second Life U.S. Navy 7th Fleet. It's my privilege to begin a new project with the 7th Fleet currently operating in the Vietnam Sims on the USS Forrestal. We began work last week on Part 3 of the War in Vietnam series. The clip you are about to see is a screen test and rehearsal. It came out so well I decided to share it with you now. If the screen test is this good, wait till you see the finished product. A little history about the 7th Fleet. During the Vietnam War, 7th Fleet engaged in combat operations against enemy forces through attack carrier airstrikes, naval gunfire support, amphibious operations, patrol and reconnaissance operations, and mine warfare. After the 1973 ceasefire, the fleet conducted mine countermeasure operations in the coastal waterways off North Vietnam. Now I'd like to present to you carrier operations of the 7th Fleet. Yeah, Mike, uh, on that last pass, nice job getting to uh, 
correction off of that wind-up right and guard. But keep that scan going with the uh, line up if you wind up with that fallout right and close there. I can't have that happen now, right? So much guys, so be fine. 324 titles. Hey bud, maybe just get to a little bit better start and uh, we'll get that on the rocking once the uh, game final bill works for Three, two, four, on glide path on course, two quarter mile, call the ball. Roger ball. Can you see with us? Power back on. Ultra, ultra, ultra. Three, seven, six, going wall right of course, wall above glide path, three quarter mile. Well, that's it for issue 19. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. My friend Aram Darkfold just gave me this SR-71 Blackbird. He's been working on it for two years. Looks pretty awesome. I think I'll give it a try. This is Luke Flywalker saying, Happy flying. Well, this doesn't seem too bad. Let's see what she can do straight up at full throttle. Holy Okay, I left red ribbon okay. I'm in my blimp cruising along here at 100% throttle. Everything seems to be fucking... What the Thank you.